Okay, Paul here from Rytec Engineering. Uh, in this little demonstration, I'm going to show how to quickly and simply test for electronic ignition problems on the Rytec engine. Now, this is a nine solar engine, but the ignition system on both of our engines on the electronic side are identical. And here's a quick way we can test it. You simply need to use a 12 volt test load with one side of the test load down to ground and the other side, as you see, prodding battery. Now what you do is you remove the spark plug lead from the centre of the distributor cap. So that's the lead coming from the coil, okay? And then what you do is you put a spark plug, any old spark plug, in the end of it and put it down to ground or the chassis. Then the next thing you do is you disconnect the wire from the pigtail, free core Dean's plug, from the distributor cap. So we disconnect that. And you see there's a groove there. Okay, so we disconnect that. Then we switch the ignition on and the magneto on. And then what we do is every time we take that test light, which has been clipped to ground, which I'll show you here. And every time we tap it, every time we touch the pin nearest the groove with the test light to ground, it will throw a spark. And if you're getting close there, you can see every time I touch it, the spark plug's ticking. Which means that the ignition module is working and it means that the wiring is okay. Now if you had no ignition on that side, yet running this test you had spark there, it would be reasonable to deduce or assume that you have a faulty um, hole sensor pickup inside the distributor because everything on this side is working. If on the other hand you are tapping on that groove pin and you had no spark, well then it would be reasonable to assume that there's something wrong on this side, which would be either the wiring or most likely the module. It's very rare that the ignition coil fails, but the module is more likely to be the problem. So that's a simple test you can do. And while we're here, you can take that same test light and put it into the centre pin and you should have 12 volts power there. Now that power there also comes from the coil, so we can check the coil on the positive side that we've got 12 volts there as well. And there it is, on the red side we've got 12 volts. And we should have the same 12 volts here. Now if we move the test light over to, to a positive ground or to a to a positive base, which means now whenever I touch the test light to earth, it's going to light, we should have an earth on the outside pin, the uh, furthest away from the groove pin. And there's the earth. Okay, so we put the test light back to ground, which means whenever I touch battery, I'm going to have power, I'm going to have a, a, a light. The middle wire is 12 volts power and the outside wire is the pulse wire and whenever that's touched the ground it will spark. Watch again. And you can see it's sparking there nicely. Now in this instance if I was having trouble on this ignition I would clearly know by method of elimination that I must have something wrong with the hall sensor. Um, because I've got spark here. If I didn't have spark when I was touching there it would be very reasonable for me to assume that the ignition module has failed. And there's the ignition module there. Okay, so that's a very quick way to test for spark on the electronic ignition. Okay, bye.